Hey guys, your boy Allstar here, and today, finally, 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 it is time that Dungeons is going to be released for a high pixel skyblock. And you're probably wondering, wait, what Dungeons is released? Well, at least right now it's not released, but we know it's literally on the, literally about to come. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. It's about to come. Anyway, I'm going to be covering everything in the Reforge update, and let's get straight into it. So. First off, I'm gonna go to the hub. This is the new dungeon sub, but like we're gonna go to the hub real quickly. How to get to the dungeon sub. I don't know if all ranks are. Alright, so MV bosses are right now. Because like in the first like 20 minutes, MV boss bosses only. But now it's like. Now it's MV plus, MV plus, plus and MV plus. I don't know if VIPs are allowed. No, VIPs aren't allowed yet. So right now, MV plus plus, MV plus, and YouTube ranks and staff and high pixel player accounts are only allowed in dungeons right now, or in the Skyblock server, the regular high pixel server in Skyblock. And so basically, I'm gonna be covering everything that's up to. So let's get straight into this. All right. So basically, it includes. Okay. So first off, I'm gonna read the forum post. So. Mr. Uh, don't, don't be mad at me for like reading it wrong or anything like that. Okay, so basically this is the in preparation for a 0 0.8 update. So first off is the reforge update. This is a bunch of new like reforging things. So let's get straight into all those kind of reforging things. So the so if you go to the like this person right here, if we go to the blacksmith right here, and it says apply accessory bag reforging. So when you press this, it will give you like a different kind of reforging. If you hurtful for all your talismans, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I don't have all the talismans. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not the best at Skyblock, but I have like most of the talismans. I'm missing like 10 or 15. I don't know most of them. But I'm close to getting all of them really. So basically it applies reforge to every single one of these talismans. I applied itchy because I know there's a new best reforge, but I don't know what the new best reforge is. There's also a new reforge for swords. I'm gonna keep spicy for now. Or spicy is not the best reforge. I might actually reforge my sword. Fast, sharp. Okay, so legendary I'm pretty sure is the best reforge to get. Heroic, spicy, sharp. Spicy, sharp. Okay, so the sharp reforge is new. Uh, epic. No, epic was always there. Fast was there. Gentle was there. Fair. I might just keep spicy if I can't get legendary reforge. So I'm just gonna keep spicy for now. I'm pretty sure they added new things to spicy. And they added new like different reforges. A bunch of new different kind of reforges. So that's first off that like the blacksmith you can reforge all your talismans at once, and your sword and armor and bow and all that kind of stuff. The second uh, thing we're talking about, there's also a new rarity, it's called the Universal Rarity. Right now, I actually don't know how to get the Universal Rarity. It's probably going to be in Dungeons, because in the Alpha server, it was a Recombobulator 3000. It might come in the regular server, I'm not exactly sure. But right now, there is a new rarity called Universal. It's, abo it's above the Legendary Rarity, not your Legendary Armor. You're going to get any Universal Armor, which is going to be really epic. Next thing is critical chance removed from all the accessory reforges, but a lot easier to get on tons of armor. Oh, so you can't get critical chance on your talismans anymore, which kind of sucks. Because when I'm holding a pigman sword, and I'm holding a pet right now, I have my pigman pet out. Um, I have 87 crit chance, and with pigman sword, you're basically guaranteed 100% crit chance, but not anymore. You are stuck with. Did you toggle? Okay, did you toggle now? You're stuck with this much crit chance. So, oh yeah, there's also a new thing. It's called bonus attack speed. So, it's attack speed really. Um, there's like a bunch of new things pretty much. And yeah, I don't know if true defense was there before because I don't know what it's giving me true defense. But anyway, yeah, there's a bunch of, a whole bunch of new stuff. That's basically the new talismans you can't get. Like, uh, what's it called? Critical chance on your talismans. If you're going to skills, skills, uh, combat. Alright, so 50 is still max, I think? I'm pretty sure 50 is still max. If I go into here, 26 to 50. Oh, there's actually a new dungeon skill, so. Oh, yeah, we, we covered this basically in the alpha server, those, like, good buffs and dungeons for every skill. So I'm going to go every skill. So, healer. Healer. Every level is 1% Renew Healing, 2% Ghost Healing Potion, Resort, 1% Wish 
shield percent, one, minus one percent revive cooldown. There's like a bunch of new stats for healer. There's also new stones, the like the dungeon stones, like the one in the heads in the alpha. And like if you go a different class, you get different abilities for that class. My god, potion just run out. But yeah, that's the thing for that. We're gonna go on to mage now. Five intelligence, one hundred guided sheep damage. That's the dungeon's orb, and then eighty percent or eighty fireball damage. So yeah, it's just gonna keep increasing, get more mana, intelligence, all that kind of stuff. If you're playing mage, if you look in berserk now, berserk, uh, you get what, zero point four melee damage, zero point bloodlust. What? Bloodlust is basically high pixel UHC, but they might have added like bloodlust in the berserker class. So yeah, you get. That gets axe throwing damage, ghost axe damage, Ragnarok summoning skill, and the dungeon orb for that. Archer, next up your archer. So we get plus 1% extra arrows, plus 0.8 arrow damage. You get more arrow damage and extra arrow chance. And then explosive shot cooldown. And this is the orb for the, the archer. The ghost ability is right there. And lastly, we have tank now. Tank is plus one defense for each time, or like, is this plus one defense for each time? It might be like, I'm not sure if the next page has like more defense and like more different kind of abilities, but right now, this is what we have right now. So plus one defense, 0 0.2 total defense, 200 seismic wave damage, 10 absorption hearts. And here is the orb for the tank class. So like armor sets you want to be using right now for Berserker, probably Superior. Uh, Frozen Blade. No, I wouldn't see Frozen Blade. I don't really know about this stuff. So tank, I know it's going to be tier 12. Tier 12 with the Reaper Mask, that's going to be a really good tank setup. Uh, I'm not a pro at dungeons, okay? Uh, but yeah, those are like all different kinds of classes. Now we're going to be talking about the dungeon sub because there's a new dungeon sub. Now, the new, you know the one in Alpha? Well, they actually changed that up. So instead of like going right here, so you probably think, oh yeah. If I go down this tunnel right here, Dungeons is going to be like right down this tunnel, right? I'm going to go down here, and here, so it's just like, oh wait, Dungeons is here, I can just click this guy and get in, well, it's currently disabled, we don't know what this is for, they might remove this because they added the new Dungeons hub, we also have Malik, the new Reforger, and basically there's like two new drops from Dragons also, I'm going to go to there. Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Okay, look, let me look for that thing. Um, two new drops for dragons. Like, I literally looked at that. I might as well, like, look at the other stuff meanwhile. But, fairy soul. Every fairy soul in the game is now hidden ID, which allows you not only to spawn fairy souls inside dungeons and moves fairy souls around, but it's also fixed more fairy souls. Wait, is there more new fairy souls? Uh, collection, we're not in collection, it's in, no, it's not there, it's in the quest log. Yeah, there's new, what the heck? Okay, there's a lot of new quests. Uh, dungeon journals, there's no, dungeon journal, the eye, the walls, yeah, that's like a bunch of stuff. Find new fairy souls, there's new fairy souls, actually. Where is the dungeon sub? There we go, there's like seven in the dungeon sub, I'll collect later. But like, yeah, pretty much, finally, I can get 1,700 health in superior. So if you haven't, like, got these fairy souls, so once you get on, basically you get the fairy soul, the 7 in the dungeon sub, I'm expecting time to be able to make a video on it as soon as possible. I am balancing. Reaper Scythe now spawns baby zombies. Okay. Buffed Yeti Sword by 20 extra strength and its base ability. So Yeti Sword might be good with the uh, baby Yeti pet. I'm not exactly sure right now. Buff Pigment Sword's ability damage but lowered its intelligence scaling. Buff AOTD's ability damage below is intelligence gaining. So same with the pigment and AOTD. They both got buffed and nerfed at the same time. Buff Frozen Sight's ability damage. So Frozen Sight might be good right now. Changes to aspect at the end. We had to change to the ability work. It's unable to go through blocks. Even upward. This is going to be a popular change. Okay, so basically with the aspect at the end, you can't go through blocks. So we do. Yeah, see, look, it'll say there's blocks in the way now. You can't really like go like that. Um, that's kind of sucks. So you can't glitch into places anymore. Okay, so that's what the aspect of the end. Um, looking at more things now. Let's see. Yeah, I think I'm gonna. Okay, there's like a whole different type of different reforges. I'm not gonna explain, but I will link the forum post in the description if you are interested in like reading that. But yeah, there's like a whole new type of reforge and stuff like that. I won't be going over everything. 
I will be going over the sword reforges though. There is gentle, odd, I mean fast, fair, epic, sharp, heroic, spicy, legendary. Uh, I'm not gonna be going over talismans. I'm gonna be going over armor. Actually, I'm going over armor. Armor is smart. They have, well, they always had smart reforge. Clean, fierce, heavy, light, mythic, titanic, wise, pure. I think no pure was no pure was always there though, not you at all. All right, so you know access to the dungeons hub. Uh, okay, keep in mind the catacombs. Catacombs. Okay, so basically it says that dungeons will be released in a few more days for the zero point eight update. So a few more days from this video being posted, the dungeons update will be like out, and then everybody will play dungeons. So yeah, the one thing I didn't explain is dungeons. So let's go to the dungeons hub. Um this way so all you have to do is go through hub you're here and then you see this mountain here you remember the mountain before here is the dungeons hub so it's a portal it's like flags right here now if we go over here it was like a gate over there i'm not sure if anything has changed with it there's also the museum here has it up uh wait no i thought the gate disappeared i don't know okay this doesn't change yet now we can just get there so if you use fast travel and then we can go to the spawn, the dungeon hub. All right, so we are back in the dungeon hub. There is a bunch of stuff to explain in the dungeon hub. So let's get straight into this. So basically, there is four new NPCs in the dungeon hub. Right now, we have Malik, the blacksmith. I explained this one before. There's like different kind of reforging, the Eshen shop, repair dungeon items. Personally, can't use any of this right now because we don't have playing dungeons yet. We can't. We we can use this one, advanced reforging. Huh? Uh, okay, so that's different. I don't know how to use that stuff. Ophelia right here is also some stuff now. Undead bow, 80k coins. Gear score 80, damage 80. Deal 100% damage to undead monsters. Now this might be good for dungeons. There are probably better bows out there. You can use arrows here. Super cleaver. There's a new super cleaver. So I'm thinking this is good for like early game players really. Because it's actually a good sword, you know, for early game. And it's only 80k. Stone chest play, like literally these few like early game items right now. They could be good for dungeons too, for like mid game, late game players. But I'm pretty sure there's gonna be better sets out there for dungeons. All right, there's a lot of explaining to do right now. Okay, so basically, dark goggles, mender helmet, any healing on other players is double on dungeons. Dark goggles, your abilities to deal 50% damage on dead monsters. Also, a dungeon potion, dungeon one. I think. Zero, oh, I uh, accidentally bought one. Didn't mean to do that. So for three coins. Super Boom TNT, pretty much we know that. It used to blow up the things in catacombs, and you can also blow up the thing in Crypt Pool. I don't know if they fixed that. Though. I might check that later. But yeah, those are the three new NPCs. Um, There is a race downstairs. If you go downstairs. Oh, uh, it's like right there. So we head downstairs right here. There is a leaderboard, and the leaderboard is for the fastest times in the races. So there's, well, you know about the end race and the park race? Well, now there's a dungeon race. You have to go for it here. You're going to do crystal core, giant mushroom, pressure cursor ruins. I'm going to try giant mushroom. I don't know where to go right now. Here's the thing. Like, some people are actually really confused on, like, where to go. Um. Okay, wait. I'm going to try crystal core. Is crystal core this way? I'm going to young armor. I don't, okay, I think it's this way, okay, let's just go this way then, where everyone else is going. Wait, am I going that way? I don't know where I'm going, but sure, I'll go this way. Everyone's wearing crystal armor. Is that useful? I'm not sure if that's going to be useful. I think I actually might wear crystal armor for this race. You know, I'm going to wear crystal armor. Uh, where do you go from here? Oh, uh, that's not the place to go. That's not the place to go. Oh, right here. Okay, um, where are we going from here? People are going down there. Um, where do we go? I like. I'm so confused on where to go. I'm gonna follow this person. I don't even know where they're going, but okay. This is the mushroom. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I'm gonna try this again, but I know where the mushroom path is, so I'll do the mushroom one since I know where that is. So let's start the giant mushroom. Anything. Alright, so mushroom path is this way, if I'm not mistaken. 
You're just gonna keep following everybody, you know? If you follow everybody, you're gonna get to your destination eventually. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, there we go. We're gonna keep following this path. Um, hopefully you remember this. I'm just gonna follow everyone else because I don't know where to go. Um, this way. Now, this way? Down here? Is it down here? I'm thinking it's down here. I'm gonna follow this guy. Uh, this way. Okay, now where to go from here? Just following this person wherever they think is right. Uh, this way, and then where do we go from here? Uh, we go here. Oh! Oh! That's cool. Okay, that's one of the paths. Wait, am, am I even close to like getting a leaderboard score? I'm thinking not because. Uh, anything? Crystal core. Giant mushroom. Wait, what did I get that time in? 47 seconds. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay, I think I can, I think I can beat that timing. Let's try that, let's try that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually beat this timing. Let's see if I can get leaderboard position. Um, I just have to remember the paths. I'm like so confused on the path. Jump down here. Right here, I'm running out of mana. No. Right here? Did I do it? Personal best. Okay, wait. Now if we look at the I feel like the leader boys way reset. Anything. Um Do we do it? Do we do we meet a high score? Uh 30 seconds, 39, 45 seconds, with return, no return. What do you mean no return? Oh I did not how did someone get one second? I feel like that was a bug they found. They found like a bug and then they used it. Oh, someone, my guild member is actually on fifth place right now. I don't know how they did that. No return. How am I supposed to do that? How am I supposed to do that? I'm gonna let me stop playing the race right now. Maybe that race was fun. I'll try to beat it later. There's new fairy souls I won't find now right now. It's probably in the race somewhere or something like that. It feels like the UHE champions like lobby parkour. I feel like the UHE lobby kind of in a way. I mean, it's probably like based off the UHG lobby, most likely. Um, is there anything else to cover, actually? That race was really fun, by the way. Let's look at more things. There's a test. The Magma Boss will be using the system too. Any below 2,000 damage will do 2,000 extra damage. Alright, so there's like changes to Magma Boss is a dungeon journal. The quest log means you new features. In the sub menu, where you'd be able to read all the journal pages you can find in the catacombs. Um, so that's it. The stone. There's also a new item called the Reforge Anvil. It's in the Obsidian Collection right now. So if we go into Collection, Mining, and then if we go into Obsidian, Obsidian is on top of the stage of the Fairy Soul. You're welcome. All right, here Reforge Anvil. To make this Reforge Anvil, it summons like a NPC called Iris. And this before generally you need four stacks of enchanted obsidian, three stacks of enchanted iron. So right now obsidian prices are gonna go really large right now with this one top of the statue. What statue are they talking about? Okay, I'm gonna find them later. Seven years, so I'll just find them later, I guess. But yeah, there's new seven new fairy souls. What else is there to cover really? Um, healthier RNG, we believe in RNG, da da da, da. players no da da. We forge stones. These can be used in specific items in your inventory accessory bag with a specific reforged slash the stone. The overall starting the current reforge is so played. So they're kind of like talismans, these new reforged stones. Not sure how to get any of these reforged stones right now, but there will be more info. Uh, making them easy to obtain from as they're a drop from other players. Majority of them should be common economy, making them okay. They drop from things, so like a mob or a player, I'm not sure. Um, is there any new things that I need to cover? I think that's everything I covered, really. Um, dungeons cap system. Many dungeons monsters have a cap system, which is certain about the dungeon. Okay, your combat, a few mob drops, of combat level requirements. Oh, there's actually some level requirements. Aspect of the dragons requires combat. Oh, wait, oh, wait what? What? Okay, wait, this is important stuff. This is completely changing so aspect so like from finding dragons aspect of the dragons you need combat level 18 for like have a chance of dropping 
The Ember Rod, you need combat level 8 for the chance of dropping. Ember Armor requires combat level 8, so you actually you can drop Ember Armor. And uh, End Armor, Ender Armor requires combat level 12. Young, Old, Strong, Superior. No, young, Old, Strong, Unstable, Protector, Wise. Holy, Holy Dragon, there's also Holy Dragon Armor. There's a new Dragon Armor. Fortunately, none of us can get summoning eyes right now because Bizarre and Auction are closed, but there is End, so we can grind some Zealots to make some money. Um, superior armor requires common level 20. This is some really interesting stuff, so people won't be doing dragons really early, but I'm pretty sure we, by the time you do dragons, you're at least combat level 20 or above, you know. Obsidian chestplate, all requires combat level 12, 14, and stone bow requires combat level 15. That's actually really interesting. Um, is there anything else to cover? Jungle, top of this, on. Uh, let's go to the... And actually, I think that's it for this update. Go to the end. So like, yeah, these end lobbies are filled up with people. People are tryharding Z-Lots. I don't know if the bazaar is open right now. We're going to the, oh, we're going to Omega. Okay, I want to check if the bazaar is working. And the VIPs have entered. VIP pluses have entered right now. Bazaar is broken too. Octo is broken. So when they get uh, fixed, there'll be new things. So. That's going to be it for today's video. This is the whole new Dungeons update. Very epic stuff. Um, couldn't work your destination, not found. So yeah, there's a new Dungeons lobby. I feel like Dungeons is coming in a few more days. Wait. Is that, no, 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 that's it, that's it. Okay, Dungeons lobby is kind of broken now. But anyway, it's going to be open in like a few minutes probably. But that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope everyone enjoyed this like new dungeons, like reforge kind of uh, reforge system update. And dungeons is coming very soon around the corner. So that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope everyone enjoyed, and I'll see you over in the next one. Peace out, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.